Hello YouTube, it's uh, Deezer HD here with another um, Cinema 4D tutorial um, and it's for building a spotlight which was uh, requested by Flow GFX on uh, one of my uh, one of my videos I think it was the last video, the studio look video so um, I was making curved studio so if you haven't seen that go and look at it and uh, I've shown you how to build a softbox, the Curve Studio, so now we can just finish it off. And then you'll be able to create this type of studio look here. Um, as you can see, because I've told you how to build this studio, this softbox, you can build the spheres because it's just there. Um, I'm going to show you how to build these uh, spotlights using Expresso and all that r really good stuff. I was going to say rubbish, but it's not rubbish, so let's get straight into it. Uh, first thing I did was I got a cone. I put it on the minus Z axis and I just made this uh, a bit smaller as you can see. And I made the top radius a bit more so you can see it's a bit more like a spotlight here. And uh, I'm going to make some materials really quickly. So I'm double click down here. I'm going to just call this stand mat. Uh, we're just going to have a black material, nothing else you can see. I'm just going to chuck that on the cone. Make another one. We're going to call this um, reflection. We're just going to click luminance. So let's call this reflection. And uh, luminance, there we go. Uh, now we can hit C on our keyboard. Uh, go into this front wall selection tool here. So we can select each polygon. Go to select loop selection. We're going to hit this one, hold and shift, and all three. Right mouse click and bevel. Just move move it forward a little bit like that. Um, right mouse click and extrude. And I'm just going to move it in like this. And then right mouse click our reflection and click apply. There we go. Next thing I did was I got a cylinder, and I think I put this to about Seven is the radius. Um, let's bump this up to about three hundred and twenty or something like this. Just lower that down into the. You can play with all of these uh, settings, so that's up to you. Maybe just make it a little bit longer. There we go. Um, we can put this black stand material on it now, and we can call the cone um, spotlight. We can call the cylinder the stand, and then we're going to get into making the legs now. But um, what I did was um, I put a uh, sphere, I lowered it down. I think I put it to about ten, the radius, and I just dragged it down onto the bottom, just there, just for the effect. Even though you wouldn't see it, but there we go. Um, then I got a cylinder. And I put it on the minus x axis, and I think I put this to about 4 by 130. I think I, I'm just guessing, I'm not actually that sure. Maybe if we put this to one, 140, 140, pressing the wrong keys, and um, I'm just going to lower that down to where this little blob of the sphere is, move that in there, and get on another sphere. I think I put this to about five. Dragged it right down. Dragged it out, just so it can go on the end, just so it looks like it's got some uh, legs, leg stands, leg. I don't know what they are really. And we can just lower the segments down to like ten. We don't really need many segments at all for this. So we don't have to have a lot of a uh, radius either. Maybe seven looks good. And we can uh, call this leg ball, I don't know, that sounds a bit weird, but um, and cylinder, I'll just call it leg. So we can click sphere and the stand, hold and shift, then option G or alt G. We're just going to call this stand, this null. And we're going to select the leg and the leg ball. And we're going to call this leg. And we can put this material on the leg. So there we go, we've got a nice, that's one leg done. Um, we're going to go Command C and we can just leave it like that and then we can uh, 
rotate this down, let's say 25 degrees, around 25, it doesn't have to be exact, as you're not going to see it. It's just all for the effect, really, guys. Uh, that looks good to me. Then we can just do Command V, get another one, rotate it by uh, 90, say this way first, and then 25 downwards. I'll do. Whoops. And we can just drag this one forward and left. There we go. There's two legs done. Then we can do Command V. The only reason I'm not copying each leg when it's in, um, when we've changed the angle is because it's quite hard to get the right angle when you're change, changing it um, from this angle that's already been down to 25 degrees so uh, I'm going to make this one at 90 again there we go, 91 I don't really care and uh, you can be a lot more accurate but and then we can just do this and get it in line As you can see, it's not perfectly straight, but life goes on. And then Command V for the last time. Um, we're gonna rotate this by 180 degrees. Uh, there we go. And rotate it by 25 this way. Let's move it straight across. And we're gonna need to move it up a little bit. Make sure it's inside the little uh, sphere ball thingy. So we've built our softbox now. Uh, no, our spotlight. We've got the basic shape for it, as you can see. Uh, maybe if you want to select all of it, hit Option G. We're just going to call this light or something. And we can just uh, move it up if you, if you don't like it being half below the floor, which I don't. So uh, there we go. I've got it above the floor now. Um, we want to create a light and a spotlight because we are making a spotlight and uh, we want to make sure if we go into our right view here we want to make sure it's in the front roughly halfway through just here like that and uh, can make sure it's uh, nice and big by dragging these two little uh, points here and we can extend it out if we want to or there we go, and uh, I think I left mine as a, I don't know why, I think I put it as a volumetric on the visible light down here. I put a volumetric on it. You can see if we render now, we've got quite a nice spotlight effect. Obviously you can't see the rest of the spotlight because it's all black, but oh well. And we can drag this down into our light as well. And then we can um, start getting our user data, interfa user interface stuff up. Uh, all for Espresso. So uh, the next thing we do is we're going to go into our light. We're going to hit color. We want the intensity, type, shadow, and visible light. Right mouse click it. Copy user data interface. Go into our light null. User data. Manage user data. We're going to add a group. We're just going to call this a light control. There we go. Right mouse click on the left over here and click paste. And we can delete use temperature and color temperature because we don't need that. And the color, we're just going to set the default to white, the intensity default to 100, the type spot, the shadow, uh, we we'll set this to a nice uh, area shadow, and the visible light we want as a volumetric. Um, next, we can click OK. Go back into our light, into the shadow properties at the top here. Um, We'll set this to area, and we can uh, set the. We can get the density here. Right mouse click, copy user data interface, back into our light null user data, manage user data, paste that in there. Shadow density we can put underneath our shadow, and we're going to have that around around seventy percent because I think that looks best. And also we can uh, 
add another group. We're going to call this a reflection control. Oops. Well, I can't spell today, let's just do it all again. Much better. And we can just drag it out. As you can see, it was in here, so we can just drag it out. And there we go, um, click OK. We're going to go into our reflection color uh, material, sorry, selecting color and brightness by holding Command and click Copy User Data Interface. Go back into our light, user data, manage user data on our reflection control and paste. And the color we can put to white and the brightness 100. We can call this reflection. Reflection color. And we're just going to copy it as the short name as well and change this to brightness at the end. And there we go. Clicking OK. Looking good. Then we can right mouse click a light and go to Cinema 4D tags and we want an expresso tag. We can drag our light null in here, make it make it a little bit bigger here. Put our reflection material in. Um, open up our null and put our light, our spotlight in, the actual light from the lights tab. And we can just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. And we want to go into this red node here and go user data, light control, color, color. And we can do everything that's in the user data bar these RGB bits um, what we want to do is select everything so intensity want the shadows the shadow density the type and the visible light and I don't know where uh, our reflection control has gone it should be, oh here we go, it's reflection control, we want the reflection brightness and uh, reflection colour, so that's all good, and in our reflection we want to go down to luminance, luminance brightness, and luminance, luminance colour, so that's all cool, and in our light we want to go to general, colour, colour, general, uh, intensity, general, shadow, general uh, type and uh, general visible light and we can go down to uh, we need to find out where in shadow we need our shadow density here and now we can just start linking up so color goes down to color intensity to intensity shadow to shadow shadow density to shadow density type to type visible light to visible light and I think you can do the rest reflection brightness to luminance brightness and reflection color to luminance color now if we can just close down Expresso we can uh, click just the light null and we've got all of our controls here um, ready for us to use so that's all cool um, we can drag the light control out as well click OK so you can see I've got a light control and a uh, if we just click our light here, we've got our reflection control in one tab and our light control in the other. So um, we can change the colour of the light to red, as you can see if we render now. Red light, and we can keep that as white. And then the reflection, which will be the reflection of the shiny object, we can change that. So this bit changes and we can see we've got a nice red reflective surface for your reflective object to reflect off. So uh, that's the basic uh, spotlight tutorial for you guys and uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was helpful, hope you learned something new etc etc and um, I may have uh, real flow tutorials out but I'm not sure of uh, as it is quite complicated and it takes a long time, a very long time to upload a 1080p videos to YouTube so uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace guys.